So we're here with Osman Ansal of Atlas Corporate Finance. Um, Osman, wonderful panel. Uh, I just wanted to know which companies inspired you the most today? Actually, all of them did, but, but if you want me to choose one or two of them, I think my favorite one was a Chilean uh, entrepreneur, a young lady, former tennis player. She did a great job to start a, a Chilean a version of Sephora, and, and she wants to do that in all Latin America. She started greatly. She is making a good top line, profits, everything is right. And she wants to be uh, all over Latin America in the next five years. I think that model can be easily copied in Middle East, in Turkey, in Egypt, in those places. But I have great expectations for this young lady. And I love uh, the lady entrepreneurs. Unfortunately, we have very few of them around, but I support them whenever I see them around. Wonderful. The second one is the Egyptian old business, old school, uh, stationary business, two guys, 27, 28 years old. They are trying to convert this old business into a new business, new generation aspect they are adding by buying a business to business uh, internet company. Uh, they are about to acquire that company. So their business model will not change dramatically. They will keep the existing business, but they will also add this new online business and they can easily be a staple of this part of the world. And again, I support them, and I think they did an excellent job here. Why did you fight so hard for them? Because of the Middle East culture, I would say, because uh, they have a father who is running the company at the chairman level, and, and uh, 27, 20 year old kids, they cannot pose their opinions very openly in our culture. So this is kind of a revolution, a radical move. The family is accepting their push, and they are pushing slowly, lightly in the right direction, and, and the business is also going to change. So this is, uh, in a cultural way, this is not something we are used to see in, in, in mid Middle East, in Turkey, in Egypt. So I really wanted them to go forward to act as a model in family businesses in the whole region. Great. And um, what were the biggest, what were some of the mistakes or the challenges that you were advising some companies to overcome? I think we love passion. We love people to be excited about what they are doing. But from time to time, they have to come back to the ground and they have to simplify their business model. They have to do checks and balances periodically. And they should say, I think I'm going too fast. or I think I'm going too high. Uh, I think I'm going too slow. So they have to do the reality check from time to time. Because these young boys and young girls, they have the passion, but sometimes passion can take you to places that you cannot manage the car. So you have to take it easy. That's what I'm seeing. Great. Well, thank you for talking to Wanda. Pleasure.